Here is Krista Baldwin, the Greekette. She is the granddaughter of Chris Karamasinas. This is the first top fuel race she's ever qualified for, and she qualified with a strong 392 at 314 miles an hour. She is surrounded by three of the best competitors we have in the sport. Tony, it's a long shot, but she does have a shot. Right, if we had the right to it, you might hear the Jaws theme song right now. But the great news for her was she made the field. Not so good news is you are up against a couple of wolves right now in all three of the other lanes. So Sean Langdon and Antron Brown, both starting line technicians. Leah Pruitt certainly can and has stepped up to the plate to battle the likes of them. And for Krista Baldwin, a clean run, a sub four second run, a sub 390 run would be an epic moment for this team. Langdon's out first, and as they go to the finish line stripe, it will be Krista Baldwin advancing into the second round next to Antron Brown. You saw the blower belt escape the engine of Leah Bruitt. Sean Langdon's car fell off the pace at 394, and Tony Pedragon, holy Christmas wow. Well, that's what gave her a chance. Brian, you and I talked about this matchup before. Langdon, like Doug Coletta, however, Doug Coletta, there's a wing laying on the track. That looks like the top element of the rear wing. We're going to take a look to see who that belongs to. It didn't seem to affect any of the cars. Let's take a look because when they lose that section of the wing, they're going to lose some downforce. Oh, it was on Krista's car right there, and it, unfortunately for her, it was the top element. If that rear, that primary section of the wing breaks, that's going to take a lot of load off, could potentially end up in a much worse situation, but for her, she advances into the next round's plot. Problem set in for Sean Langdon, as well as Leah in that number four lane. Moments ago, Krista Baldwin advanced to her first, second round of top fuel competition ever, and here she is, hugging her grandfather, Chris Caramacinas. Her mom was down there, all of her friends, and she is with Jamie Howe at the top end. Chris is going to have to coin the phrase, the top end two-step. You have danced your way out of that dragster all weekend long. You had no words after qualifying. What do you have to say after this first round? Unbelievable. unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I can't believe this is happening right now, right here. Oh, man, this is... I was just going to go up there and try to do my best, make another A to B run, and, you know, going against those three other competitors, I've watched them all my life, and I'm very honored to be in that squad, or in that quad, but... Oh my God, that's crazy, absolutely crazy. <laughs>